talk a little bit about why we haven't been on YouTube for so long. So we started. I can't push it very well. It's not uh, clicking. Well, it's not clicking because we took the battery out, remember? Better grab your glasses or the dog will get it. You want to come down here with me? <laughs> yeah, it won't work if the battery's not in, just like your toys. So we are. Yeah, that's okay. Well, you can carry it. It just is not gonna work unless your unless your battery's in it. It's got a charge. So as you can see. Hey, we're gonna talk to some friends on a video, okay? You wanna talk to them? <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. Hi. So these guys are the reason we haven't, the main reason we haven't been on YouTube a whole lot for the past year or so. Cause they've been keeping us hopping, especially this little one. But they're all getting a little more independent and we're able to do a little bit more. Ooh, is that a veil to scent? Yeah, yeah, we're going to show our friends. There's just weed eating inside the yard a little bit. Um, in the part where we garden and play. But the weed eater died. I have a little battery powered weed eater. It doesn't go very long, but hey. hey. But I figure as long as it'll work, by the time it's done, somebody uh, needs me. So. I need to push this so I can weed eat. Pretend. Well, you don't have to push it. Just pretend it's not going to turn on. Just hold it. Hold it with the, both handles. Uh, I can't push it. You're I so can't. strong. Well, you're not supposed to push it. Just hold, like, swing it around like you're weed eating. It's anyway. But I just like pushing it. Pretend. They and keep I us busy. So but they're the reason we're doing this, so it's okay. They're the reason we're gardening and raising our own animals. It's okay. Luna, no. So we've got we've got the weed eater, we've got the garden going. I'll show you around a little bit today. When dad gets home, they like to train they're training for a Spartan race. So that'll be exciting. The kids may even do the kids may even do the kid version. I'm really excited to possibly do that. But we've got the chickens outside here. And Tony has built a pegboard that you're supposed to be able to climb up. But the small birds around seem to think that they built it just for them to make a nest. And <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. But we just threw some food out for the chickens, which is why they are. These are baby chicks that are not so much baby anymore. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah. Um, but they're not quite laying yet. So eager to get start getting more eggs. Sounds like someone's laying. Hey, Mom. Hey, let's show our friends where, how we go find the eggs and show them around the garden. Here's our new puppy, Tetra. She's into everything. Definitely makes it more challenging when you have dogs that like to dig and they have, they, I was very sad. We have been babying this new nectarine tree we just got and it had like a handful of fruit on it. We've been watching all summer, all spring and they were almost ready. And Luna got in here and she's tall enough and the tree's short enough that she ate my she ate my nectarines. What, buddy? That you have to hold that down to be able to squeeze the trigger and make it start. But it's not going to work without the batteries. Okay, go ahead. Close the door. Our squash. These are scallop squash. We've got several. A lot of blooms. A lot of blooms coming and some fruit starting. This is our sweet pepper bed. We've got some sweet peppers growing in it and some hot peppers we got the other day that were already blooming. We did not plant those from seeds, but here's our other squash plant. We are battling or we have a slight problem of um, cucumber beetles. So that's what the holes in our plants are looking but it's not, it's not totally tearing it up, but I am going to probably get some things to do. We did spread some diatomaceous earth 
but um, then a big old rain yesterday washed everything out so we'll probably do some more different things but these green beans are wow vining all the way up we're so excited for this to really fill out and fill up with green beans and we keep calendula around as an aphid trap to help out with that and I think that my dogs keep running in here and these pea plants are just so delicate that they knock it loose just a little bit at the base and then it just starts. Had to take a time out because somebody wants a rest. So we make a little nest on our bed for this guy to nap or rest throughout the day because he still needs it. And you just need your own space, huh? <laughs> What's your name? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Same. I'm Gabe. Okay. <laughs> Gabe is resting. And go back out and see how everybody's doing. Come on, Luna. Luna seems like such an old, wise dog. She's only one. Now that we have a puppy that's crazy again. Hi, baby. Let me show you. We've got these giant pots somebody gave to us. And we were able to grab some herbs and I'm so excited to have this right outside my door. It is, there's um, spearmint, thyme, three different variations of basil, and same thing over there. And then again, the chickens, I just, I threw out food a little while ago. They are still picking at it. Love having free range chickens. We've always loved that, but something about being able to keep them away from our, uh, 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 no, keep them away from our garden and our front door so there's not chicken poop everywhere and they aren't eating everything out of my garden. It is wonderful. What you doing there, Mina? What you doing? Queen of the world, huh? Yeah. Do you want down, baby? No. No? Okay. Just hang out there. We had a huge windstorm, however brief, last night. And I'm just thrilled that everything's mostly still standing. <laughs> because it was, it was strong. Our squash plants were laying totally over. Hey, do you want down or up? Okay. Here, take these sunglasses. Okay. I'm gonna go show them where we get our chicken eggs. Let's see if there's any eggs. We have been getting one or two eggs a day because we only have five laying hens from last year. And two of them are broody right now. One in the goat barn and one in here. But the new hens are, will be laying soon. Hi there, lady. Hi. Nope. Usually if somebody lays, she's got it right now because she is super broody. Hopefully that will be over soon. She can join them laying us some more eggs. I love being able to open this from the inside. Yeah. And just halfway finished weed eating. We just planted blueberry, grape, and blackberry and a raspberry on the other side. So, and then our cherry tree, which had cherries till the birds got it, but it's just a handful. We've got some work to do before it really starts doing much in the next couple of years. But let's maybe go just run and take a look out at the, at the goats. Oh, not very far. Yeah, it's not very far. I'll be right back. Oh, you're gonna go, baby. No, just for a second. We latched the door here so the dogs can't escape and the goats can't sneak in. The goats were the trickiest to keep a garden going because, man, they can escape just about anything. And every time they need to fix the fence, there it would go again. <laughs> but we at least have a fence that keeps them out of our yard in our garden, small as it is. We have a lot of work to do out here still. Looks like a junkyard. I hate it, but we just can't do everything at once. And yeah, poor design. We were going to put a big, big gate in here so Tony could mow and never got around to it. And his mower could not fit in this small gate. So it is high grass until you get to where they've trampled everything in here. 
and we need to put some more fresh bedding in here but until then we just keep kind of throwing some extra hay down we, ooh, we have some chickens that like to lay in here so i check we've got one more broody hen i don't think she has anything i've been checking on her she's just sitting oh well they've got water we'll probably get them more later but they don't drink surprisingly we have four four goats and they don't actually drink a whole lot these days, even when it's pretty hot because they're eating so much fresh grass. Can't even say fresh grass, fresh greens, trees, weeds. I'm coming, baby. So, walking through the high grass here. But take a look at these flowers. So pretty. And then you can see Riley. I don't know if you can see her over there. Trying to reach what she can. They cl they're clearing a lot of the brush up here. And then after they've, they've got a lot of space for four goats. Um, and when they pretty much have it cleared, we have some other space we can move them to later on. I'm coming. So the other reason we have not been on YouTube a whole lot this past year is because we started we started a business, a handyman business, and this past year was our first year full-time. It will be a year in August since Tony has been doing that full-time as our only income. So that has been just a roller coaster this year and kept us very busy. Um, just figuring things out as we go, trying to learn from people that know what they're doing. <laughs> Thankfully, we are blessed with a lot of really great people in our lives and we've been able to find some really good online resources. I know baby. And that has helped tremendously. And we hope to just keep it growing this year so that Tony is able to spend more time with us and here on the small farm and still be able to make enough that we can pay our bills and all that fun stuff. You want to go down here? Some, we try to come out and go barefoot a little bit every day. Oh, sorry. But I think it's just about nap time, so we'll see y'all later. You can check out the boys helping dad train for a Spartan race. Ha, ha, ha. 